So today I'm designing this wooden family decor. I first spray painted it with spray paint. Now I'm designing it, which I'm using the Mod Podge to put glitter on. So the Mod Podge on the letters that I'm choosing, which is the letter A now I'm choosing to put the glitter on. You want to make sure that the Mod Podge covers over the letter properly. So when you throw the glitter on it, it has full coverage over the letter E. So now I apply the glitter, which I have to make sure I pour the glitter all over the area that I used to put the mud patch so that it can get a better coverage and you won't have to see any patches in between after you throw the glitter. So now I'm going to be applying Mod Podge the letter L, the same method as the letter A. Make sure that the Mod Podge fully covers the letter so that when you pour the glitter on, you'll get the, that full coverage over the letter L. Now pouring the glitter on, notice I'm pouring it on heavy so that enough glitter can cover the whole entire letter. And this way you will be able to fill in any missing spot. So when I shake it off and I see any spot, then I can be able to add glitter where it's necessary in order for it to have that full glitter look afterwards. Wherever I miss a spot, I just add the glitter onto it. Shaking it off again. Get off the excess glitter so that I can see whether or not I've missed any more spots. The excess glitter on the paper, don't worry about that. Those will be saved. Then I brush the excess glitter off of the wooden decor so that it can look neat and tidy. I like to tidy up as I go along so that it won't be messy. As I'm looking to apply another set of glitter so I don't want that glitter to mix up with the other glitter I'm going to apply to the, to the letter M. Yeah, the brushing takes time as trying to get off all those excess glitter that uh, would have gone in different places. So here you can see how pretty that looks with the glitter on. So now I'm going to be saving the excess glitter now, just going to wrap it up, fold it with the glitter and then get the container to pour the glitter in so that the glitter doesn't go to waste. I can use this set of glitter for another project whenever I'm ready.
so on to the next i'm going to be doing the letter m but i'm going to be using a different color um a different shade of pink so doing the same pattern i just apply the mud part over the letter m making sure uh, as i said you cover all areas so that it can get full coverage when you're putting on the glitter yeah so this glitter is not pouring i'm not able to pour it properly out of the container so here i'll have to remove the top part of the container so that i can be able to throw the, the glitter so i can get a better coverage over the letter m and i have to try and get this done before the mud part starts drying in yeah so the cover was taking me some time to take off so it was a bit challenging to get it off. The hair now I got it off and I'm able to can pour it over the letter M to be able to get the full coverage following the mud podge area. And I'll do the same thing, throw it on and then shake it off and then see what areas I've missed. Yes, I started using the brush because I realized that the brush was easier to use to cover the area rather than just throwing it over on it because that way now I can be able to cover all areas with the brush which that was a quick technique I figured out along the way So as you can see here, this is what it looks like. You can see all areas of the letters are covered properly with glitter, which it looks so beautiful. Now I'm gonna be brushing off any excess glitters in the areas so that it can look neat and tidy as I go along. Now I'm doing the same thing. I'm saving this glitter. No glitter going to waste today. So add it inside this container so that I can continue to use this glitter. Remember, you have to save your craft supplies. Can't be wasteful while using your supplies because they cost money. I'm 
using the hot glue the hot glue gun to rise stone this on now so now i'm gonna apply rhinestones to the letter f and l so as i said i'm using the hot glue to apply the rhinestone one by one the hot glue is another alternative for me to be able to use instead of the e6000 to apply rhinestones i think the hot glue holds pretty well onto the wood so that's another type of glue you can use to put a rhinestone, especially for a project like this. Pretty simple and straightforward. So I just follow the lines with the rhinestone. As you can see, I'm using the same color that is painting. It's a pink team design I'm working on. I can't wait to see what the outcome is going to be like. But... You want to make sure you're applying the rhinestone you know with a bit of a size a space in between at a distance from each other because here I'm not doing rhinestone being close together I want them to be apart that's the design I'm going for Okay, so now that I'm finished, right, so on the letter F, moving on to the letter L, which I'm going to continue using the glue gun to apply the rhinestones. Remember, putting them accordingly to a distance in between each rhinestone you know, to follow the design of the L. Yeah, so here now I'm putting on um, the mud podge on the letter Y because I'm going to use the same um, color pink as I used on the letter M for the Y. And family has six letters in it. So as you can see, the team I'm going with, I'm doing two letters of the same design, F and L 
both have rhinestone design the a and the and the i has the pink glitter and then the well hot pink glitter and then the m and the y has the light pink glitter so i pour on the glitter on the y and then i'm going to be shaking it off if i miss any spot you know the usual i'll look at it to see if i need to add any more and then you know brush the glitter off clean up as i go along so that you can keep your project looking good and tidy in order and not making too much of a mess crafting is messy but you still have to clean up as you go along so that you won't give yourself too much work to do So this is it guys look how beautiful this has turned out I'm loving the sparkliness of it and it just looks so totally different from where we started where it was just spray paint alone now you can see it has character development <laughs> loving it let me know what you guys think in the comments below what you think about it I'm going to be doing a little photo shoot of it so you guys can have a clearer picture of it, you know, what it looks like when it's all dressed up.